Hello everyone, I'm the Maestro Metal from Met West High School. What burning questions would you ask the mayor if you had the chance? Today on Youth Focus, we get that chance. Welcome to Youth Focus, Oakland's future. I'm Akai Jacobs from Oakland Tech. Here today with us, we have a special guest, Oakland's Mayor, Libby Schaff. Hello, Mayor. Hi. Thank you for joining us. Oh, my pleasure. We know that Oakland is your hometown and that you have graduated from Skyline High. We realize you've only been in office since January, so we're glad you've made time to listen to us. It's important for young people here in Oakland to have a voice and to let you know that we're thinking. For our first question, uh, why are you here and uh, why do you want to hear from us? Well, I think that the youth is our future and that the success of Oakland depends on the success of our youth. You're an incredibly important part of this city. So I'm very excited to hear from you and to know what I can do to help make you successful and create the great future that I know our city deserves. Thank you, Mary Shaff. We'd like your thoughts on how city government works with young people. One of the student panelists, panelists has the next question for you. Hello, my name is Eleanor Good and I'm on the Oakland Youth Advisory Commission here at the city. And my question is, what are your specific plans to directly engage with youth? And do you plan to meet with youth on a regular basis? So absolutely, I am incredibly excited about meeting with youth on a regular basis. That's part of why I'm here today. Um, I look forward to having an active role with the Youth Commission. And I am, over the next 100 days, going to be sitting in restorative justice circles with 100 Oakland youth which is a way of really listening and hearing and forming relationship with 100 young people in Oakland. Thank you. Thank you for that answer. And now we move on to our next question. Hello, uh, my name is Daisy Romo and I am a senior at Fremont High School. And my question is, how do you plan to sustain the existing youth programs in light of the city's budget challenges? Do you have any new youth programs? So it is frustrating that despite the kind of encouraging signs in the economy, um, the city budget is still not growing as quickly as our costs are. And so my challenge for this upcoming year is going to be to hold steady, but to look for ways that we can do better with less. Um, I'm really excited about the uh, initiative to make sure that all our after school programs, rec centers, have computers in them with internet connections and that every student in Oakland who wants to have an internet connected computer at home has one and that once you graduate and you get into college and I know everybody sitting here will be doing that we also will send you off to college with a computer and I'm excited that that is all through um, really a public-private partnership with a great group called OTX West as well as, as many private companies that donate computers that make it possible. Thank you for your question, for your answer. Now we go on to our, the next panelist. Hello, Mayor Schaff. My name is Deontay Jackson. I'm a part of the African American Male Achievement Student Leadership Council. I also attend Oakland Technical High School, and I am a junior. I see way too many kids roaming the streets at night, either getting into trouble or, quote unquote, just chilling. My question to you is what is your plan to create a safe place for young people? where they can do homework and also have fun? Well, this gets back to kind of similar to your question about making sure that our libraries, our rec centers are open and welcoming and fun places for Oakland youth. You know, these uh, programs don't, uh, are not always filled to capacity. And so part of it is I'll be interested to hear from you how I can do a better job of promoting the opportunities that we currently have. The Boys and Girls Club uh, on High Street in, in the middle of Oakland uh, has capacity for a lot more young people. So how do we connect the programs we have with the youth that are looking to do things? I think that we do need to do a much better job at the city in connecting with our youth and talking to them in a language that they understand because I don't think that we are getting enough of the young people engaged in these really positive activities that not only give them something to do, but also usually connect them with a job, a passion, something that um, ends up creating a really exciting future for them. Thank you. Now on to the next question. Hello, Mayor Schaff. My name is uh, Maui Fasile. I'm a senior at Oakland Tech. 
Um, in your platform, you describe turning neighborhoods with high unemployment rates into quote unquote job creation zones. Um, how do you plan to make these areas viable business districts that can compete with tourist hubs like San Francisco and suburban shopping centers like Walnut Creek? Well, let me be honest. I don't want Oakland to be like San Francisco or Walnut Creek. I am so proud of kind of, I call it Oakland's secret sauce. Like what makes Oakland, Oakland? We are cool just the way we are. And we have a lot of great things to sell to potential employers. One of the things I'm really interested in doing is supporting entrepreneurs, people who wanna start small businesses, especially in our neighborhoods. One of the things that people often feel difficult, uh, find uh, that it's difficult to do is to get money to help start or grow a business. And so I've been um, really promoting a partnership with an organization called Kiva, Kiva Zip, to help create small interest-free loans. So you get a loan, you do have to pay it back, but you don't get charged interest. And that's a great tool for a small business person starting a business in a neighborhood. I also will be looking at other types of incentives to try and draw development to certain parts of our city that have long had uh, struggles creating jobs. Thank you for that answer. On to our next panelist. Hello, my name is Samaya Mustafa and I attend at West High School. I'm a junior and I see from your platform you plan to keep Oakland housing affordable, especially for low income families. So I want to know what is your plan for that? You know, that is a struggle that the whole Bay Area region is having right now. And it's gotten much harder for us in the city because we used to have something called redevelopment that created a constant funding source for affordable housing. And that was eliminated a few years ago. So what we are looking at doing is for the first time charging something called an impact fee. So when a developer comes in and wants to build market rate housing, they have to contribute money into the city's fund to build affordable housing as well. I'm also trying to look at some innovative ways to take existing housing where working class people currently live and see if we can't convert that housing too affordable. And then finally, I'm working hard to make sure that our rent control protections are strong and so that people who are renting homes in Oakland also don't get surprised with big rent increases. And that is um, a really important way that we keep, you know, the Oakland we love, the Oakland we love, and that people who want to stay here never feel like they're being pushed out or priced out. Thank you. And now on to our next question. Hello, my name is Adrian Napolitano, and I'm a senior at Oakland Tech. Mayor Schaff, how do you plan to mend the class and racial divides between the hills and the flatlands? That's a huge question. Um, and I think part of it is I'm gonna be depending on all of you, because I think um, as young people, you have the opportunities in your public schools to have those conversations. Schools like Oakland Tech actually have a great diversity of students in them, and so, that some of the things that you have found to get along and create that school spirit um, is a great example for um, the entire city to follow suit. I think that part of the way that we create better relationships is to make sure that there isn't as much of an economic divide. I'm really proud to have been the first elected official in the city of Oakland to endorse Measure FF, which passed on our ballot last November. Um, in just two weeks, on March 1st, Oakland is going to have the highest minimum wage in the country. In the country. Um, in July, a couple cities will go above ours, but we've been very aggressive in making sure that people who work in our city actually earn a decent living. And that's what I hope to do is not only to try and bridge the understanding divide, but actually narrow that economic divide because um, income inequality is really morally outrageous, not just in Oakland, but in the whole country. Thank you for that answer, Mayor. On to the next panelist. Hi, Mayor Schaff. My name is Rebecca Darmapollin, and I'm the chair of Oakland Youth Commission. Um, I am also a student at UC Berkeley and a recent graduate of Oakland School for the Arts. My question for you is, I focus on the issue of commercially sexually exploited children. Um, as the mayor, how do you plan on assessing this issue and working with abolitionists on ending sex trafficking in the city we love? This is um, an issue that unfortunately I have um, been working on on and off since the year 2000. And it's really heartbreaking. 
it's a complex issue and it really it requires work from all different angles from my perspective as someone who control city resources i would like to see a lot more enforcement efforts focused on pimps and exploiters otherwise known as johns we also need to create a safe house for these girls this is something that has been talked about for years and yet somehow we have not been able to do that this is a very complex problem it is very difficult for the exploited minors to get away from their exploiters and to have a safe house where they can go i think is a key step to making some progress thank you for that answer and now we have our next question hello mayor my name is selena avalos and i am a senior at castlemont high school lovely earrings by the way you look great and uh my question for you is do you support city or government funded scholarships for high school graduates to attend local community colleges for free and if so what role do you play in ensuring that's what happens so um i'm really excited about the presence the president's recently kind of announced vision that at least community college should be free to all uh, and i'm excited about the federal government figuring out a way to fund that in the meantime because I don't, I, you know, I, I heard that articulated as a vision, but I haven't necessarily seen the legislation or the funding to make that a reality. So what can I do with my city resources when I am, as somebody recognized, facing a, a funding gap, even just to maintain the services that I have right now? But I can use my kind of bully pulpit as the mayor to really get a lot of excitement and support from businesses, from foundations and philanthropy to create a scholarship fund for Oakland. I believe, and I know our superintendent believes, that we need to set an expectation in the Oakland public schools that every single student is going to college. Every single student should have the type of counseling to help them figure out what is an appropriate post-secondary educational opportunity for them, and then they should have the support to get the financial aid, to get the academic support to reach their goal. And then I am very excited about helping to raise the funds so that we in Oakland can guarantee that every student has the funding to go to the college of their choice. And I'm committed to doing that um, out you know, in the private sector. It doesn't always have to be government money, um, but I'm also committed to looking at that option. Just right now, I know that people wanna support the dreams of young people in this city. And I think that that is a great value proposition that I'm excited about selling. Thank you, Mayor, we appreciate that. On to the next panelist. Hello, Mayor. My name is Vanya Baltazar, and I'm a senior at Castlemont High School. And Castlemont has a new computer science program. How will you make sure students benefit from the growing tech scene in Oakland? Well, I've been having some conversations with tech companies. Um, if you do a Google search um, and hit news, you'll see that I've been quoted in the last week as talking about the issue of diversity in the tech sector and not just technology jobs. There are a lot of non-technology jobs that the tech sector produces. So don't think that you have to be a programmer to take advantage of the tech boom. So I am starting to have those conversations with technology companies and um, ask them questions about why their workforce doesn't look like the city of Oakland, for example. What are they doing to make sure that they're providing opportunities for young people to take advantage of these incredible jobs and this really exciting sector? So I can promise you that I'm already having those conversations with major technology companies. And I'm also gonna be working with organizations in Oakland, like the KPOR Center for Social Impact, which really holds as like their core mission to do that. Um, I believe that we also need to push the curriculum in our schools to make sure that students do have coding and classes available within their regular curriculum and that they also are linked to internships and opportunities outside of school to connect with people in the technology field and get that real life vision of what it's like to work. Now let's move on to our next question. Uh, good evening. Uh, afternoon, I guess, Mayor. <laughs> uh, my name is Angel Cornejo. I'm a senior at Fremont High School. And my question is, what will you do to help get jobs throughout the whole school year for students or for kids instead of just part-time jobs or summer jobs? Thank you. 
Well, one thing I can tell you is that um, with the new minimum wage, the jobs you have will pay a lot better. <laughs> so you should be excited about that. Um, again, it is a mayor's job to get the private sector excited about hiring young people and hiring in general. Um, the voters of Oakland recently passed um, a measure that creates a lot of new funding for what they call linked learning. And I believe that um, you shouldn't underestimate the value of an internship. Often that internship turns into a paid job. And so um, I, would I will be encouraging young people to take advantage of internships and volunteer opportunities, even though you feel like you need to make that money to like buy that new, those new pair of shoes, very nice shoes, by the way. <laughs> um, you know, have a little bit of patience, do those internships because from there you get the paid work and the paid work that is truly interesting and that puts you on a path for much greater things instead of just kind of earning something to get by. Thank you, Mayor. On to the next panelist, Ruby. Hello, Libby Schaff. My name is Ruby Rosenberg. I go to Oakland Technical High School and I'm a part of the Media Enterprise Alliance with KDOL TV. Mayor Schaff, and you just touched on this, with the passage of Measure N to support college and career readiness in Oakland schools, how will you encourage businesses to offer more internships and jobs to students? Well, the best way that I can encourage them is by talking about my own personal incredible experiences with young interns. Um, several of you go to Met West. I have had um, at least four Met West students intern in my office, and each one was truly a gift to me and so I can, with incredible enthusiasm <laughs> and authenticity, talk to business people about how it's not just your obligation as a corporate citizen in Oakland, but it truly is rewarding as an adult to kind of open a young person's eyes to why you're learning these things in school, how it relates to the real world, and how to you know, accomplish something really exciting. Somebody asked me about technology. Um, I was able to raise enough money to buy all new computers for all of the computer labs at the three boys and girls clubs um, throughout the city. But you know how I did that? With an intern from Met West. He put together the fundraising plan, he made the ask, and he actually raised more money than we had anticipated. We originally thought we were just replace one lab, we were able to replace all three because we exceeded our fundraising goals because of a student. He did that. Think of the sense of accomplishment he got out of that. It's so exciting. And so I can't wait to tell other businesses that they too can have this great feeling that I have experienced. Thank you. And now we move on to our next panelist. Hello, Mayor Chef. My name is Ryan Frigo and I'm on the Oakland Youth Commission. In a recent meeting with Councilwoman Lynette McElhaney and Jesse Jackson, you backed Jackson in his proposal to bring tech jobs to Oakland. You also said you wanted to work to prevent gentrification, as we saw and continue to see in the city of San Francisco and communities such as the Mission. These two forces do not coexist. Which is more important? Ah, <laughs> uh, I am, you know, very committed to trying to make them both exist. Um, I believe that Oakland can have growth, investment, revitalization, and even development, but that we also can preserve the unique and authentic fabric of the communities that we have. Now that won't happen by accident. You have got to be very mindful and careful about how you develop, about how you invite new businesses into your community. I absolutely agree that there's a threat, that there is um, a potential conflict between these things. But unlike San Francisco, we have 20% more land mass and we are starting out with half the population. So we do have room to invite new people and new businesses into our city without pushing out the people who are already there. But we have to be careful. A lot of what I talked about around preserving affordable housing and creating more affordable housing, that's incredibly important as we do have new people move to our city. Now we also have to build new market rate housing so those people have a place to move into and they're not just shoving out the people who are already here. And we also have to have a conversation and I think we can co-create this conversation with the tech companies who are already here. 
you know, in Oakland, a lot of our tech companies are mission driven. They aren't just about the bottom line or the profit. They really exist to do things in the world to make the world a better place. And so I believe that the tech scene in Oakland is going to be one that is socially conscious. And so I am, um, you know, I've, I've been quoted as saying that Oakland cannot afford to sell its soul for growth. And I don't think we have to. I think we can learn some lessons from cities that perhaps didn't do it as well as they should have. And we can get it right in Oakland. We can have prosperity and we can have equity. Thank you, Mayor. On to our next panelist. Hello, Mayor Schaff. My name is Manera Harris. I'm a member of the Oakland Youth Commission, and I'm a youth leader at Attitudinal Healing Connection. Um, I love Attitudinal Healing Connection. Okay. Um, <laughs> so my question is, what are your plans to ensure that Oakland youth and communities of color develop better relationships with the Oakland police and are also treated equally in the eyes of the law? Um, you know, I... One thing about just, you had asked about kind of racial harmony in general. Um, one thing I do believe in, and Attitudinal Healing Connection is a great example, that we as people come together over food, arts, and sports. So I think more of that in Oakland will be good um, around all relations. Um, and the same applies to police. Um, we have to create opportunities for our officers to interact with youth and with people throughout the community as, as human beings. You know, put down, take off your uniform, grab a basketball, um, get to know people as people. Um, we also have to ensure that we have independent oversight, that our officers practice procedural justice, that they are not just lawful, but they are respectful in their interactions. Oakland is doing some incredibly groundbreaking work around just this. Literally, our police uh, chief has been called to the president's task force twice in the last few months to testify because of Oakland's groundbreaking work. This work is recent, it's new. I don't think everybody feels the change because let us be honest, there is a very recent past of police misconduct that we are not proud of and we don't expect people to forget that overnight. So we have a lot of work to do to ensure the public that the new way that we are doing policing in Oakland is authentic, we are committed to it, and we are committed to making it sustained. And um, I'm excited, our procedural justice training, which again has to do with how you treat somebody in a police community interaction, it's not just taught by officers, we actually have people from the community teach the officers about interactions with the community. I think that's incredibly important, and I'm excited about connecting youth um, with the police directly. That is something that probably is going to happen in some of these restorative justice circles that I'm planning to do. Thank you for your answer. And now we have our next panelist. Good afternoon, Mayor Schaff. My name is Nicholas Gant. I'm a junior at Oakland Technical High School and I am a member of the Media Enterprise Alliance. My question is, do you have any new ideas to make sure that students get home and to school safely? Um, you know, I, I think that we could do better on implementing the old ideas. <laughs> um, you know, it, it, is, it is a sad um, state of affairs that students don't feel safe coming and going from school. Um, school should be safe. The streets of Oakland should be safe for you. And um, it breaks my heart to hear that that continues to be a concern and a fear for young people today. Uh, we have done some recent improvements, things like um, increasing the street lighting. Um, we have done what's called crime prevention through environmental design reviews of passages to school to make sure that the physical environment creates more safety. But we have got to do more. And um, I uh, think that part of my kind of listening tour is something that is going to hopefully give me some new ideas from you, from the young people who experience this every day, because um, you probably have some very good suggestions of new ideas 
that I could be using. But I also am very focused on doing a better job of implementing the ones we have. Um, police presence, um, using other things like uh, the, the different merchants along the way to serve as the eyes on the street and the caring adults that help guide you on your path to school. Those are things that I think we could do a much better job of. Thank you. Our next panelist. Hi, Mayor Schaff. My name is Danielle Thompson. I'm a senior at Met West High School, and I'm also part of Media Enterprise Alliance. So according to the most recent California Healthy Kids survey, 34% of LGBT youth have reported feeling sad and hopeless. So my question is, what are your plans to improve mental health among not only LGBT youth, but also all Oakland youth in order to help lower suicide and depression rates? One of the things I'm very excited about is the fact that we are putting health clinics inside schools. And that creates a safe place where a student can go about, you know, just needing a Band-Aid or an aspirin, but then they're in a safe environment where there are trained professionals that have the ability to address these other issues that the youth really needs to talk about. And there's no stigma um, associated with coming to the school health clinic because it's a place that everyone goes for just basic needs. I think that is a program we need to continue to expand. I think also that this city really needs to lead the way with removing stigma from um, just being LGBT. We in Oakland have more um, single sex couples than, uh, as, as a concentration in our city than any other city in America. I'm so proud of that. I really celebrate that. That in Oakland, we um, respect everybody, and this is a place where everyone should feel comfortable and at home, embraced and loved. And so um, to the extent that we are continuing to do that through our policies, and Oakland has some very cutting edge policies around gender identity even, um, we have a, a liaison with our police department who only um, helps educate them and sensitize them to transgender, uh, the transgender community. I think that's important. I support that. I'm looking for opportunities to expand that type of support and that type of messaging to the community. Thank you. Uh, that's all our questions for now. But Mayor Schaff, do you have any other thoughts? Well, I am just really excited about the future of Oakland. I'm very proud to be a graduate of the Oakland Public Schools and a parent of students that are in the Oakland Public Schools. And I um, also want to tell you that often your city officials will tell you that we don't have any jurisdiction or any power over the schools, but that answer is not good enough. Anybody who is part of this city absolutely has got to be invested and involved in our school system. If I, you know, met a genie that popped out of a bottle and gave me only one wish, it would be that every young person in Oakland graduates from high school with the skills and the hope to be successful in life. And so I really welcome the continued dialogue. I'm really excited that you all are here and being empowered by KDOL, and I wish you great success and I look forward to coming back to your show sometime soon. Thank you for taking the time to speak to speak with us. Now that we've opened the door to this dialogue, we hope you'll be back on a regular basis, as we said. I would like to thank our panelists from the very various schools throughout Oakland and the Youth Commission. All right. And finally, we thank all of you who watch who are watching us here on KDOL. We welcome your feedback and suggestions. Just as we want people to listen to us, we listen to you. See you again soon. Thank you. <laughs>